Uh, when I think of Divine Mother, I actually don't think of Divine Mother. <laughs> <laughs> or you experience Divine Mother. <laughs> uh, when I uh, tune into her, I feel like just moved deeply to silence by the profound love that is our life. That love which is constantly supporting us, that love which is constantly loving us, that love which has never abandoned us, that love which asks nothing from us. It is that love of the divine, that love of existence is profound. It is beyond exciting. It moves you to the deepest level. See, When you pay attention to this, there is no problem in life. You cannot complain about life. That is yoga. That's where yoga begins and that's where it ends. Is this love, this union with the eternal flow of love. In all traditions, God is uh, synonymous with love. And that love is not an alien or... It doesn't ask. That is what's important, you see. So when, when that's why in yogic tradition, divine feminine has been so invoked in parallel to the divine masculine, both, but all not... Divine Feminine has not been suppressed because Divine Feminine is that quality of love, of grace, which is eternally flowing, which is, it just can't stop because if that stops, everything stops. Everything is through that. This breath that you just took is, that is love, that is Divine Mother, that breath that you just took. We can't even breathe on our own. We can't speak a word as in, in disconnected from the totality. So this whole idea of finding God somewhere in a distant future is arrogant. So Divine Mother is a, I mean, she's the very fabric of life. She's the very fabric of life.